1941, the Irish Sea was a dangerous place to be. It was a war zone. Germany had declared all shipping in the area a legitimate target. It attacked shipping not with U-boats, but with Focke-Wulf 200 maritime patrol aircraft operating from bases in captured France. The 18th and 19th of December 1941 saw sustained Luftwaffe attacks the length of the Irish Sea. On the morning of the 19th December, the Irish Lights tender Isalda, carrying the Christmas relief crew to the Conningbeg lightship, was attacked by a Condor off the Salty Islands. Isalda carried neutrality markings, but perhaps it was the fact that there were boys on her deck that the Germans attacked, mistaking the boys for sea mines. In the sustained repeated attack, six members of the crew were killed, seven were injured. The survivors made it to the lifeboats and to safety at land at Kilmore Quay. Isalda sank in 20 minutes. Sir, on the 19th instant at approximately 8.50 a.m., the vessel proceeded from Rosslare Harbour with barrels and Conningbeg reliefs on board. At approximately 10.50 a.m., when the vessel was between two and a half to three miles east-northeast of Conningbeg Lightship, word was sent to my cabin by the second officer that a plane was in sight. The plane swept across the vessel from port to starboard and dropped bombs. Realising there was no chance of escape, I put both engines full astern in order to take the way off the vessel before lowering the boats. At the same time, the boatswain came on deck and I told him to pass the word to abandon ship as I knew the vessel was doomed and I thought the attacks were now finished. The plane, however, approached for a third attack and I called out to the men to take cover. He bombed us again and registered hits. Immediately after he passed, the crew succeeded in getting away the motorboat and the starboard cutter and thus got clear of the ship. We will now lay a wreath to commemorate all who were on board SS Isolde on that terrible day, 19th of December, 1940. The six men who died in the sinking of Isolde were all from Dunleary, and they were Coxon P. Dunn, Abel Seaman P. Farrell, Fireman Jimmy Hayden, Chief Steward William Holland, Leading Fireman William Rushby, and Fireman Paddy Short. This is a sad day in the history of Irish Lights, and we remember those who died. Our thoughts are with their families. May those who died rest in peace. <laughs>